This summer, I had the opportunity of working on a project titled Helping to Find False Positive and True Negative Signs of Life for Future NASA Life Detection Missions. This project was aimed at helping to populate the Life Detection Knowledge Base, which is a database housed in the Center for Life Detection and utilized by NASA when studying biosignatures, which are crucial for detecting life on other planets. The particular biosignature that I chose to create a database entry for is global fluorescence. After researching this topic and talking with experts, I've created arguments showing both the pros and the cons relating to abiotic and biotic feature strength, meaning how detectable the biosignature is, and production, meaning the likeliness that it is produced via biotic or abi abiotic mechanisms. The biotic production focused on fluorescence produced via marine corals and conversely their abiotic production via minerals and polyaromatic hydrocarbons. The entry addresses the detection of fluorescence as a global biosignature detectable from remote sensing similar to how chlorophyll and vegetation is measured, measured on Earth. It has been shown that marine corals can produce such signals as a result of a photoprotective mechanism to prevent damage from harsh UV rays. Minerals can also produce such signals, usually from impurities within them, and therefore present the possibility of being mistaken for a false positive, meaning that it mimics the traits of the biosignature being studied, and therefore can be mistaken as being produced biotically. <clears throat> and then these are examples of arguments housed in the database, um, just to give an example of where my arguments would go. I had the best time working with my project leads and mentors and gaining experience that will help me reach my personal and academic goals.